We know that a lot of you may be planning to line the procession route to honor Boone County Sheriff's Deputy Jacob Pickett tomorrow. It will actually travel more than 50 miles, stopping at many places where Deputy Pickett impacted so many lives. Tonight, our David McAnally traveled that route, talking with some of the people who plan to pay their respects to the deputy tomorrow. Deputy Pickett begins the long road home early Friday morning here at Crown Hill. Along the route, we found people preparing. Friday, Deputy Jacob Pickett comes home to Brownsburg, to his spiritual home here at Connection Point Christian Church. The funeral procession will drive past businesses, navigate neighborhoods, then reach the old Main Street. That's where a mother and daughter will walk out the door of their jewelry shop and salon to watch and pay respects. I'll be praying for the family, for mom and the boys. I did not know them personally, no, no. But my heart does go out to them. I have six children, and my husband's a fireman for Wayne Township. She knows the risk of public safety. Her mother does, too. I will be right behind her praying. I'm always right behind her praying. <laughs> it's horrible what has happened. It's just crazy. Down Maine to Odell to swing past the deputy's alma mater, Brownsburg High School. A message waiting in the chain link fence. Pam will be watching from her house across the street. It's just sad. It's. I feel so sorry for his wife and his children, and it was just an awful thing. It's such a tragedy. So it, um, you know, I think that as I was driving home, I noticed that it, it said thank you um, in front of the high school, and I think you know that's probably what the mood of the neighborhood will be, somber but very thankful. At the school where Deputy Pickett's wife teaches, heartfelt support too. Past the schools, the long motorcade turns east, then back north and west again, and slips out of Brownsburg, heading out into the country on State Road 267. In 10 miles, Deputy Pickett's remains return to the Boone County Sheriff's Office patrol area, where he and his canine partner, Brick, work to make things a little safer. Along Perry Worth Road, they'll pass the thin blue line flag outside the home of Vincent and Jennifer Gamble. They'll be watching right out front. I just think a lot of things. I feel bad for him. I'm thinking what a waste it was. He was a good man. Nothing like this ever happened before up here. Flags lining the road will lead them to the memorial outside the sheriff's office, where an emotional former sheriff, Ken Campbell, flew in to show support, where flags fly in the wind. And it all ends here at Crown Hill with his burial among the heroes. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.